Hi everyone, it's Ashley and welcome to my channel, Mothering by Grace. For today's video, I thought I would share something a little different, which is a personal hobby of mine. And I thought maybe I would share the reason why I really like this hobby and maybe it will inspire you to start a journal. So I have always liked to write. When I was in school, my favorite subject was language arts. And I really just liked to write like opinion pieces or just share my thoughts. I've always been a deep thinker and I've always liked to have really deep conversations. Um, so I got into writing and I just, I really like journaling and I want to share the experience with you guys and share why I love it so much. And if you were thinking of starting a journal, maybe this will be encouragement to you to start one. So let's get into the video. So there are so many different types of journals that you could start. And I think that is where the fun sort of is, is that you could literally make it whatever you want. You could do like nature journaling. You could do a diary, which is just like a personal dialogue from your day to day. You could do just like a deep thoughts journal, which is sort of what mine is. It is kind of a mixture between like a diary versus a deep thoughts. I don't know. I kind of have a lot of things going on in my journal. You could start a prayer journal a gratitude journal, a bullet list journal, just a journal of the things that you've accomplished in a day to look back on and realize how much you got done that day. So there are just so many different um, types of journaling. And I think that is the fun of it is that literally you can make it whatever you want and it is yours. So I'm just going to share I guess some of my favorite reasons behind why I really like journaling. So the first thing is obviously self-expression. I, as a mom of three, I find it really important to find hobbies and activities that are kind of more me centered in a way that is not selfish, but um, just, just like things that I enjoy doing because I feel often our identities can kind of get lost in being like a wife, mother, homemaker, homeschooler, what have you. And I just feel like we need things in our life that are kind of ours. That's the reason I started a YouTube channel. And that is also the reason I like journaling because it is just something for me. Um, and it's really benefit, bene benefited my life in quite a few different ways, I think. So uh, yeah, that is the first reason, I guess, is just self-expression. Um, like I said, you can make your journal your own and that's kind of the beauty of it for me i literally just use my journal pretty much as like a diary but also um incorporate like deep thoughts like things that are on my heart i also add prayers i add scriptures and quotes that stick out to me and it's really neat to be able to go back a month later or even a year later or a few years later and just look back on the things that you wrote and also just look back on the things that god's done in your life i think that is really interesting so that is one reason that i keep a journal is kind of self-expression but also another reason is just documentation um we have been studying the story of the world in our homeschool which is a history curriculum and the first thing that they talk about is how journals can provide your future children and your grandchildren with just information about their history and their upbringing so i also find that really interesting and important that when you're you know grown up or even when you've passed on your children can still go through your journals as like a kind of memoir and just learn about who you were as a person especially those grandchildren who maybe will never meet you so I just think that is something that will be really neat I always try in my journals to write important things about my children and even my husband and just the people in my life and just kind of leave little like leave little notes because when you pass away they could always go through that and it might be really special so that is another reason I really like journaling is just for the documentation um, another thing I really like is just like I said prayer I will write down people to pray for or um, just write down prayers or write down like answered prayers or things God has done and that has just um, been really neat because again I will look back on those prayers later on and see like oh wow this is what God did for me in that season or, you know, I'm looking back and a prayer has been answered that I wrote down like a year ago or a month ago. And that is just really important to me as well. 
Another reason I really like journaling is because a journal is kind of like the friend you can literally tell anything to. Um, obviously we want people in our life who support us and build us up, but I know for myself, um, and I'm sure others can relate that sometimes we can develop maybe dependencies on people in unfair ways. And I feel like I've done this and I know people in my life have done this to me where you just, that person kind of becomes your sounding board. And although a lot of people, um, want to be supportive and loving and like good friends and everything, it can get overwhelming if they feel like you're constantly going to them. And I've definitely done this to people. I've definitely gone to them, like, especially close friends or people who could like relate to things. And I know that they've been there for me, but at the same time, having a journal kind of takes away, I guess, the pressure because you could write things in your journal. And sometimes the things that we go to people with are things that we really don't need to be going to people with. And we could just, like I said, write it in a journal and just give it to God or, you know, just have that as kind of that friend who you can always trust. So I really think um, that is something I like. I also feel like it just helps to preserve your relationships. It helps to not say things to people that maybe isn't their business um, because sometimes when we're venting, we can say things that maybe are not other people's business. And having a journal is just a really great outlet because you could just write it down instead. So that is another reason I really like journaling. Something else that I like about journaling is the ability to, I guess, self-reflect in a way. And also, um, how do I say like, so I meant to say the ability to like self-reflect and even just like manage your emotions because sometimes, uh, actually my friend Carissa reminded me of this. So I hope she's watching so she can see um, that just sometimes she gives really good advice. Uh, but she was actually telling me that when you write things down, it takes away the power from them. And honestly, that was so true. And after she said that, I was so inspired to go write in my journal because it is true that if we write things down, uh, sometimes it's we're just better able to reflect on that or um, just deal with that thing. So that is something else I really like about journaling is it kind of helps you to regulate your emotions. Um, and it's actually also a tool that's used in therapy for some people, um, especially people with like anxiety or panic disorders or depression. Journaling is known to be like a really good way to express yourself and just kind of um, like regulate those emotions. So that's another reason that I really love journaling is I feel like it helps me to process my emotions and just process my thoughts. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just find it really helpful in that way. Another thing I really like about journaling, and obviously this is not gonna apply for everybody because you don't need a notebook to journal. If you're comfortable journaling on your phone, you could do that or doing video journals. I've actually seen people do that as well. Then that is also another outlet. However, one thing that is very exclusive to journaling by hand is that it helps your penmanship. And I personally do not have good penmanship and I, I never have, I'm a really quick writer. And I just find the more that I journal, the more that I want to write more nicely and just have more care in how I'm writing and so it's really improved my penmanship a lot um, and it's just also good like even if you want to practice cursive you could totally do like journaling in cursive because again the only one who needs to understand it is you because it's your journal so those are just some of the reasons that I have been journaling and loving it and I've had notebooks for years all through my life however um this is the first time where i've actually been doing like a year journal where where i'm like literally writing every single day because i really do want to look back at the end of the year and see what my thoughts were on every single day i just think that'll be super fun so i thought i would just share with you guys the two journals that i'm currently using so this first one i literally got at the dollar store i know it has scribbles on it my daughter wrote them on it and i'm still trying to like get it off but anyways, this is a gratitude journal and I will just show you the inside. So it shows the month and then three things that you are grateful for. So this is super nice because it's quick in the morning. Like I said, I got this at Dollarama and it was like $4. So I definitely think that it was a good uh, value for $4 and it's been super lovely to just reflect every single day on things that I'm grateful for and it really helps to put things in perspective especially when I start my day doing this it's a good time to thank God as well so yeah this is my first journal and literally it was four dollars at the dollar store so this one 
it was from Amazon and I recently got this one uh, the reason I got this one specifically um, like I like the quote and everything but I love the color that's not why I got it though I actually got it because it was the only one I could find that was 365 days however I'm actually realizing that I will probably fill this up before 365 days um because sometimes I will write more than a page but uh yeah it was the kind of like biggest with the most pages for the value so I think I paid around $15 for this and it just comes with two of these really like fine uh pens I guess so yeah this is my other little journal and that this is the most I've spent on a notebook however um you know what I don't mind because it's super cute and it's convenient and it's really handy you could definitely just get like plain notebooks from the dollar store I have gotten many there and they actually tend to have really nice ones uh, however I am glad I spent a little more on this they have a few different colors and I actually kind of want to get it in like all of the colors just so that I could like have it for like the next year and the one after that but yeah this is my little journal that I've been writing in Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it was encouraging and maybe it inspired you to start a journal or honestly, even if it's not journaling, just pursue a hobby that is yours, just a creative outlet because I think it really does help for so many reasons. It helps my self-confidence. It helps my mental health and just in general, it's really nice to pursue hobbies that are kind of for me. So I definitely recommend doing it even if it isn't journaling. But if you are thinking of starting a journal, this is your sign to go ahead and do that because you will not regret it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.